Bob Dizzy. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has well over 600 recipes and still rising. And today we're going to make something that I have never made before. In fact, I have never seen this particular recipe made before. This is something that Chris made the other night, and it's delicious, and she said, you got to make that. And I'm like, well, do I make it the way you did it? She's like, well, I don't know if you want to do something different. We could do something different. And I said, well, I don't know, because you're the boss here. And she says, well, you're the noodle queen. <laughs> See, I got a big, I got a big deal with noodles. Okay, I, my mama raised me up on beef and noodles, and most importantly in my life, chicken and noodles. It's one of my favoriteest dishes that my mom ever made for me. She still makes the best chicken and noodles. I can't top them. I've tried. You go check out Goodness Gracious, there's a recipe for them where I tried to do my mama's chicken and the noodles. And I did a good job. Still don't beat mom's. But Chris came up with something that doesn't take hours and hours and hours to prepare. In fact, start to finish, how long is this going to take me? Um, well, I don't know start to finish. It'll just depend on how long it takes. We're going to use an electric pressure cooker. Um, and what other people know is the instant pot yes. and so it'll just depend on how long it takes it to reach pressure but once it reaches pressure it's only going to cook for five minutes on high pressure and then we're going to let it do a natural release so all those kinds of factors are up in the air is it going to take three hours like normal chicken and noodles would no you think it's going to take... It will probably take less than an hour. Maybe even... Are, are y'all listening to this? Can you hear what she's saying? Maybe even 30 minutes, depending on... We'll just have to time it. Dinner for everybody yeah. in less than an hour. With that really home-cooked feel yeah, to it. Yeah, from an instant pot. Yes. Man, I tell you what. This yes. is putting me under a lot of pressure. Uh-huh. Pressure raining down on me. Oh, my. Somebody asked me to cover some David Bowie. Oh, there it's you about go. all the David Bowie I know. There Sorry. You go. So you are going to need the following ingredients. The star of the show, two pounds of chicken. This is... Those are chicken, chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. Could you use other cuts? Yes. Um, I think it would probably be good. I would go with boneless chicken and um, I haven't tested the time um, on anything other than like these strips. So I would even cut your your chicken into kind of strips because what we're getting it cooks here, y'all. This doesn't take long at all. This isn't one of those where you set it and forget it for eight hours. Right. This is come home, throw it in, let in an right. hour or He's, so, the, it's done. The instant pot and electric pressure cookers like it are really good for us slow cooker people who forget to turn on the crock pot or forget to put the crock pot on in the morning but you've got all the ingredients that's what we're doing on recipes at crock is we're giving we're trying to build up a library of meals that you could either do in the slow cooker or in the or instant, in pot. instant pot yeah two pounds of chicken yep you're gonna use the whole bag yep whole bag of home style egg noodles these, they're frozen these are frozen i can tell you it's cold so yep. frozen egg noodles and how much is this? This is 24 ounces. Yep. And salt, pepper, poultry seasoning. And you said we're using both of these, yes. right? Eight cups of chicken broth. Eight cups of chicken broth. Two, chicken broth. Bro 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 <laughs> oh wow, that was poultry emotion. Uh, 32 and 32, 64 yep. ounces. Eight cups, two boxes of chicken broth. Yep. All right. And that's it. Yep. That's it. That's all you need. Yep. So, it doesn't so matter what, what order what we put this I, all in. What I normally do is I go ahead and try and, uh, you're not going to need tons of salt to begin with. You can always salt at the end, and since you're using broth, it's going to have a lot of salt in it. But maybe lightly salt your chicken and pepper it. These scissors are horrible. <laughs> um, lightly salt and pepper your chicken, um, and then um, toss it in the um, instant pot um, put a teaspoon and a half of uh, poultry seasoning on okay that's plenty dear a teaspoon and a half yes all right so chicken goes in goes in straight mm -hmm. in the pot yeah all right there you go poultry season seasoning touch my chicken plate 
Wash my hands. There you go. Chicken season or poultry seasoning you next? Yep. A teaspoon and a half. Yep. Well, here is a teaspoon. There, make sure. Teaspoon. And a half. Yep. Mmm, it smells so good. Yeah. All right. All right. Then I just poured in my chicken broth. That's 64 ounces of chicken broth. Yep. Okay. Yep. If I sneeze, I apologize. <laughs> I might have got a little too close to my seasoning. <laughs> um, and to note, we are making this in a six quart um, instant pot. So I don't know if it would be too much liquid for a five quart because I haven't tested it. So if you have a six quart or bigger, this should work. You are splashing everywhere. Oh my god. All right. Oh. Don't waste that chicken broth. All right. And then. And then dump your noodles in. Whole thing. Yes. 24 ounces of noodles. Yep. And we're going to just give it a little bit of a stir. Get your noodles somewhat covered. There you go. Okay. And I took my spoon away. Uh, I'll wash this one too. Yeah. You know me and cleaning up messes, uh, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, the poultry season. You need to keep your nose. nose out of it. I do. Just stir it up a little bit, right. and then you're gonna put your lid on. You want it to be you want it to seal, so you want to make sure your knob is turned from venting to seal. My nose spoon? Yes. Alright. Okay, you're gonna need to move your camera. I'm gonna tell y'all something real, real quick. She spent five minutes <laughs> just trying to teach me how to put the lid on. So we're going to see if we can do it no, right. No, uh, not under the camera. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Just like that. Now, I want you to hear the sound it's going to make. Is it locked and in? And then... There you go. I did it. I told him it was like video games. Yeah, and that made me all thrilled. <laughs> all right, so... so we're going to cook on manual. Manual. So, Once. for you that have the Instant Pot branded version I want you to hit the manual button twice because we want the keep warm setting shut off because what are you at 30 minutes or five? Are five okay okay that's fine am I good you're gonna do five okay so you're gonna hit the manual button twice which you already did and that's gonna turn off the warming feature which will be good then you're gonna set it for five minutes on high pressure on high pressure now it's going to take much longer than five minutes because it's going to need to get pressure. And you're going to want to move your camera, dear, so that all the steam that's coming out of there doesn't hit oh, your camera. Oh, <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, so, and are you on seal on Here, your knob? We'll just move the pot. Yes. Uh, AM <gasps> Oh, 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 oh. Party foul. Um, technical difficulties. <laughs> I just knocked off the power tower that's charged that's keeping the cameras okay. and the um, and you, oh my you, I, I'm making I bet this is making all kinds of noise. Why is this not Oh because the leg flipped up. Good lord. All better. Okay. Oh some of the things you don't see, but you can see what's going on there. Okay, so it's you want to set it for five minutes, like ours auto set to 30 minutes, so we had to reduce it to five. So it's on five minutes. It's going to take longer than five minutes to get to full pressure. But the reason we turn that warming feature off is we are not going to do a quick release when this is done. We're going to let it naturally release. So after those five minutes are over, we're going to let it just go until there's no pressure in the pot. It so it only, it's only actually going to take five minutes for that chicken to cook. Once it gets up to it. Now the heat is rising and it's cooking as it's getting up to the five minutes. But it doesn't start counting your five minutes until, until the pressure cooker has sealed. So you see that little red button on the top next to your knob? Do you see what I'm talking about? That's sunk in right yeah, now? Yeah. It will pop up. It's not red. Oh. It's just metal. Okay. Well, it will pop up whenever it's sealing. Okay. And that's when your timer, when that's it when seals it off, then your timer will start five minutes, then it'll stop. If you left that warming feature on and then we did the natural release, it would probably burn your chicken and noodles on the bottom. And we don't want to do that. Noodles. But we also don't want a quick release. 
because if we do, there's a lot of liquid in there and I'm speaking from experience, it will shoot that liquid, that very hot liquid everywhere. So you don't wanna do that. So we're gonna do a natural release, which is just when it shuts off, we let it set until that button comes down and when that button comes down, then we can open the lid. When I was cooking chicken and noodles the other way, I, my mom always used a pressure cooker as well. It wasn't electric, it was straight up stovetop pressure cooker. And I remember cooking one night and the first thing you did was um, uh, you, you boiled your, your chicken in broth, pressure cooked it, and mom always took it off the stove, put it in the sink, let it vent, took the, remember the little cap comes off of it and you see the steam come out, and then she would run cold water over the pot itself and it, was, it would cool it down. One thing I never paid attention to with my mother is she didn't just open it up right away. She let it set. I got excited, it was my first time making chicken and noodles, I ran the cold water under it, vented it, and then immediately pulled it out and opened it up. Well, it was still hot inside. All that pressure was still building. I wasn't uh, paying attention. And it just whoo, everywhere. Yeah. Well, let's hot. not scare people because yeah. I think these are a lot safer than the old-fashioned mm -hmm. kind. And two, we're not going to touch it until that button falls back down. Don't touch it. So we're going to go and let this do its thing and we'll come back when it's ready. So this is one of those episodes where we don't have a finished product because, again, I've had some, but I wanted to make it firsthand for you and we wanted to show you how this Instant Pot worked from beginning to end. So we're going to spare you the boredom of the next, say, half hour to 45 minutes and we'll be back like Wonder Woman. Alrighty? Here we go. Oh. Wonder Woman! That's right, we're back now. Oh my goodness. Chris bought me this and we needed an excuse to use it, so. <laughs> I figured now is the time and I'm excited because Wonder Woman's coming out next year and it looks like it's going to be good. Gal Gadot, if you're watching, huge fan. But our chicken and noodles, according to my wife, is now done. And this took approximately how long do you think it was to cook it? I would say it probably took 10, 15 minutes to reach full pressure and then five minutes to cook. And then after about 15 minutes um, of natural release, which means it just shut off and I just let it set. It means don't touch it. Yeah. Let it cool down. Yeah. Else the pressure will yeah. leave the on Yeah. The button was stuck up on ours, so after 15 minutes I knew it had set for a while, so I turned it to venting and that let the button come down, but nothing came out. Like the button was stuck up? Yeah. Don't do that. That's <laughs> not nice. So just like let it set for about 15 minutes after it shuts off and then you can turn it to venting, which will break the seal. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Now and now you just pull the lid off. I've already checked it. You already twisted yep. everything. So just pull the lid off. All right. Well, let's put it back over here. Don't. The it's pot's hot still hot. There. Use the handles. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to confess something right now. Off camera, Chris asked me to come in here and see if the button had gone back down. And I went here and looked, and the button was up, and I pushed it like that, and it shot steam out and... Burnt my finger, scared me. Didn't get that on camera. And then you Kinda got yelled at because you're not supposed to I'm not going to gonna tell that. you what she called me, but ladies, don't call your husband that. It's not nice. I didn't call you anything. <laughs> I just told you don't do In that. In your head you did. Admit it. <laughs> so this is what our chicken and noodles looks like now. Ooh, it's all steamy. Yeah. Ooh, and that's hot. Michael, Careful. oh my word. Oh my word. Touch the handles only. So now you want to stir it really well and you may you're gonna need to taste it to see if you need to add any more salt or pepper oh i've got to taste this i know look at that yeah it's all stirred up you know i'm feeling the bottom with the mm -hmm. spoon and it doesn't get burnt one of the things about using a uh, conventional pressure cooker on a stovetop uh -huh. is it heats from the bottom up and it burns it's really mm -hmm. easy especially with noodles to burn the bottom but and that's not that's the... also because we didn't leave it on warming so you need to make sure and shut that warming setting off and the way you do that in an instant pot is by hitting the cooking button which was the manual button twice i'll test the broth and so just taste it and see if you need more salt or yeah. pepper it's hot Those noodles are still chewy. I, it's perfect. It's like so crazy to me. I would put, it doesn't need any more seasoning. That poultry seasoning does really, really well in there. Right. I am going to put a little bit more salt in there. 
just for my taste again that's completely up to y'all whether you like things saltier or not I grew up in a house where dad pretty much dumped salt on everything so I'm used to putting salt on stuff um, but on its own there's a lot of chicken flavor in me my gosh you're using two full things of chicken broth but we'll stir that in there a little bit now we'll test it again Broth the, oh, there's a piece of chicken. That's good. Good? It tastes like chicken noodle soup. Like really good chicken noodle soup. I bet if you added like carrots. Well, yeah. But after it sets for a little while, mm -hmm. it gets that cream. It'll like, kind of set up. Yeah, it does. So, yeah, it's. Well, let's do this my way. I'm going to grab another spoon. Because I haven't had dinner yet. Oh, there's a spoon already there. That's right. My kid got into the mashed taters earlier. Mm -hmm. We got these mashed taters, and I'm going to do this my way. I'll do it my way. Oh, my Lord. Put me some taters on the bottom. And then some chicken noodles for the noodle queen. <laughs> Right over the top. Yeah. Give me a big old hunk of chicken there. And that chicken is like perfect. It's fall tender. apart. If you look. For especially for a chicken tender cooked in that much broth. I just with this camera like, here. It is amazing. It's falling apart just by the spoon. Look at that piece of chicken right here. Look at that spoon goes right through it. That's tender. And of course you're using chicken tenders too, which helps. Right. Put this over here. And I'll go back to what I was doing. <laughs> Let us know how it is. Taters. Get a real bite now, not just a sample. Get some taters oh. and some noodle, some chicken. What you think? It's warm. Mm -hmm. The noodles are chewy. That's a creamy bite with those mashed potatoes. And we're just using microwavable uh, Bob Evans taters. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Now if I just had some corn to go with it. Yeah. You loading up on all the starches. Yeah, then. well, you know. Maybe so some can, green beans instead. Some green, some green beans, too. And <laughs> then I'll go run a couple marathons after this. Yeah. But that is really, really good. It's a lot different than the, um, the chicken noodles I grew up with. Yeah. Um, just a, it's a different flavor. Yeah. But it's not a bad flavor. That's good. That poultry seasoning really helps. Yeah. And it was that would fast be a and easy. super easy way to make it over the holidays, like yes. for as a side dish or mm -hmm. just a, an additional main. And that's a lot of food right there. And that's two pounds of chicken. That's twenty four ounces, which is what it's a. It, I thought it was a said pound, a pound and a half. Yeah. It's a pound and a half of noodles. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, it would be perfect for the holidays, oh, and yeah. it kind of just takes care of itself once mm -hmm. you get it going. Yep. And the longer you let that set in there, like say you know you're done with it, you're gonna put it in the fridge. Those flavors are just going to continue to get better and right. better and marry up a lot better. So even tomorrow, that's even going to be better than what it is now. And right now, it's awesome. So The biggest thing you've got to remember mm -hmm. is shut off the warming feature or you're going to burn the bottom of those noodles. And, and then another you're thing be you remember upset. is don't touch it until it's completely done or you're going to burn you. <laughs> which is more important than just your bottom of your pot. <laughs> We want to thank you again for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. And if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, I strongly urge you, I ask you, I'm not going to tell you to because you're your own person. You're your own person that clicked on this video anyway. But if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, it's real simple to do. You go right down below somewhere where it says subscribe and you click subscribe and boom, you're a member of the Crock Posse. And you can also check us out over on Facebook at Recipes the Crock. On Instagram at Recipes the Croc and on Twitter at Recipes Croc. I don't know my, why my voice is cracking right now, but it sure enough is. Golly! <laughs> You're turning into a water woman. <laughs> mate, mate. <laughs> Let's get this thing off. <laughs> you guys keep watching and we'll keep cooking. I can get this thing off. Maybe all will be well. <laughs> all will be well. Bye! <laughs>